Happy weekend, YouTube, and we are getting to what I'm considering to be the final video in this little mini-series that I've done about the shopping website AliExpress that I discovered, I don't know, a couple years back, whenever it was, and that I have used quite heavily over the last couple years. Um, I've, I've kind of mined the site for, for most of what I found on there that I've really wanted, so uh, my, my shopping on there has really slowed down over the recent uh, past few months, and uh, everything that I've ordered uh, that has a, that didn't not get shipped or not, or got lost or whatever, and had to get refunded. Um, everything that has actually ordered and sh and, sh and and completed has has arrived. So I've got all my last stuff. Um, I have no new orders waiting to be shipped or delivered or anything like that. So and I don't think I'm going to be doing doing much shopping on there um, going forward, uh, unless it's for more transformers, which obviously I reveal in those other unboxing videos. So this is gonna be my last AliExpress uh, video for for maybe ever, but at least for a long time. So I uh, hope you enjoy the items I got over the last number of months and uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off small and simple here. Uh, the first thing up is a series of, with us having lockers at work now, um, We've all been kind of decorating them and putting magnets and stuff in there. So my coworker, Chloe, that I've grown so fond of, uh, she loves plants and stuff like that. So I found her these magnets. Uh, they're just like different types of plants and cactus and stuff like that. That's in, in their little planters and it says sunny day on them. So I'm going to throw those in her locker when I go to work today and it'll be a bit of a surprise for when she's back. She's one of the ones that's sick, that is sick right now, so I haven't seen her for a while. So a little something to cheer her up when she gets back to work. And they were like two bucks, so for all seven, so super easy. Uh, next up, um, this here is a canvas for paint by number, and it is a picture of. In the end, it will be a picture of the Titanic floating at sea, uh, looking all new and brilliant and beautiful. Not the eroding wreck it is now on the bottom of the sea floor. So it's paint by numbers canvas, and here are the. Um, I'm not sure what these numbers are actually for, if you put them on there or whatever, but it comes with a bunch of brushes, the things to hang the, the painting after, and then there are all of the, uh, the paints that come with it. So, um, I'm looking forward to doing that. I don't know when I'm actually going to get around to starting it because I always have so much to do and so little goddamn time to do it. Next up, um, photo canvas things I found. Um, these are actually for my locker at work. Um, they're just little Angus Young from ACDC, Kurt Cobain, Nirvana. Um, gonna hang them in my locker and give it a little extra flair. And they were also super cheap, I like three, four bucks each sort of thing, including shipping and whatnot. So super, super cheap. Next up, another canvas. And this one grabbed me because it's so unusual. Big Trouble in Little China. Too big for my locker, but I'm going to hang it somewhere in the man cave because I love this 80s movie. If you've never seen Big Trouble in Little China, see it today. It's freaking awesome. And it's a little bit insane too. It's just crazy. Next up, another canvas here. I'm a child of the 80s. There are many cartoons that I watched. You obviously know I'm a huge fan of Transformers and stuff like that, but also G.I. Joe, Voltron, and everything. This one is one of my faves. So this here is from Robotech. It is a picture of Captain Rick Hunter just sitting on a kind of wrecked building looking over his Veritech fighter sort of thing. So um, I don't know if I've got that in the frame totally, but I, I saw it online. I saw a bunch of Robotech ones, and then as soon as I scrolled through and saw this one, I was like, this is the one. This is the one. I love it. I love everything about this. Next up, a couple Marvel figures. Um, I got one for me and one for James. I got Captain Marvel because she's amazing, but her face is so brutal. Um, like the body and everything's fine, but they did a terrible job with the head mold. You couldn't really see that in the pictures on the website. It was kind of disguised, but uh, I was quite disappointed with this one. 
for James, I got Thanos. And I do enjoy me the Thanos figure. It's pretty awesome. Now, speaking of figures, these are pretty damn cool. Mega Man. So there's Mega Man Zero. Oh, that's all. He hasn't even taken... He got these, I gave him these for Christmas. He still hasn't even taken them out of the package, right? So let me just do that right now. stand. It comes with the Mega Man figure. What it does is these go in here somehow and then you can stack them on top of each other in their little kind of stands and their capsules or whatever. Um, so that is Mega Man Zero there. And then the other one is X. So we'll just take them out of the pictures. I'm going to package so you can see them too. And it comes with these little backgrounds you can put in the in the thing behind it sort of thing. So, um, actually do this. See how they work. or whatever. So then we put, you put the two stands in there, I believe. Then you put that in there. And then it's got kind of a cross piece here. And I think if you wanted to, you can stack them as well. Yeah, there's buttons in the bottom. And then you just slap them in there. The figures are pretty good quality. They're, they're not top notch, but they're still pretty good. So there's uh, X and his. And then as for Zero, I hope, I don't see the box for him. So I hope he kept the insert uh, to put back in there. But for now, we'll just just to kind of show you. You know how it works. and X so gives you an idea of kind of gives you that backdrop kind of looks cool and uh, that one we got to find that I think he still has it in his bedroom so hopefully he didn't throw that out but I wouldn't be surprised with this family oh, the things I see on a daily basis next up another thing I got for James for Christmas is this you may ask yourself what is this thing oh it's an Apex Legends lamp um, so that is the f uh, character Caustic, who he mainly uses, and it comes with this little remote. Uh, plugs into a USB. You can also put batteries in, uh, three double A's, I believe it is, and uh, on here. So it's you can change like the color. You should. There we go. You gotta point it at it. 
So you got red, green, blue, all different manners, yellows, oranges, different types of blues. We got some purple action. Um, and then you can also set it to, you know, rotating. Um, fade and all sorts of stuff so yeah so it's pretty cool um, very much uh, enjoy this lamp it was uh, a pretty good purchase uh, and pretty cheap and for what you get like it's a really cool item I found this really unique and uh, it's probably one of the favorite things I've bought not for myself <laughs> next up tin signs I thought I had already unveiled a couple of these in my previous two videos but looking back I don't think that I did so I apologize if there's any repeat but I don't think that there should be so I got a whole bunch of them and I got one for my buddy Simon that I play video games with for uh, uh, ghouls and ghosts uh, that I've already given to him so I don't have it so there's one for an advertisement for the original roller games uh, for the NES released by Konami which is one of my favorite NES games that I, I had growing up and uh, we beat it actually during our Bill 69 quest a cover of Nintendo Power with the Turtles, uh, the third game, the Manhattan Project, so that is pretty cool. Another one of my very favorite games of all time, Gauntlet. So much fun. Four player action on the arcade. So delightful. Look at that. Jurassic Park artwork for the original movie. Kind of a cool little melange there with all my, a lot of my favorite elements of it. Thought that was really neat. A Street Fighter themed one with Chun-Li having beaten down, I don't know, Nega Chun-Li something? I don't know who that is, but uh, either way, it's uh, pretty cool and pretty damn sexy. Metal Slug, love the Metal Slug games, just it's chaos on a console. Um, so I thought this was pretty cool with the characters in their little tank. Um, so that was for me was a bit of a must have. This, These last two I bought for James, there's an Angry Birds Avengers themed one that I thought was pretty neat. And of course, our favorite game series, Mega Man. So uh, that was kind of a no-brainer for him as well. So uh, six in total, and uh, one that I gave to Simon. So I've ordered seven of them so far. Now this is the last item, and this is my piece de resistance, if you will. Um, I saw it, and I had to have it. I'm a big hockey fan, as you probably know. Um, I'm a Leaf fan, but as a kid growing up, there's lots of other teams. I love the 21 team NHL that I grew up with in the 80s. And one of the teams that's gone now, unfortunately, um, I really enjoyed as one of my backup teams, even though they were not that great for a lot of the, the, the time the franchise was there, but it is the Hartford Whalers. So I found this jersey. It was only 70 bucks and you could uh, personalize it with anybody's name and number that you wanted. And so I went through the list of Whalers and I had a hard time deciding, but uh, I finally went uh, with uh, number 26 and uh, if you're a hockey fan I'll give you a minute th there to try and think of who that might have been so 26 he is now an analyst uh, for, for NHL games and his name is Ray Ferraro so um, I, I was all growing up in the 80s and 90s you know I was I was aware of Ray Ferraro he never played for the Leafs or anything he, he played for the Kings the Thrashers the Whalers uh, the Islanders is, is what I probably remember him playing for the most. Um, but uh, as a player, I always, you know, I always thought he was a good player, but he was never a Leaf, so he was never kind of on my radar as one of my favorite players. But I've, all these years later, uh, being an analyst uh, on TV and then being involved in the NHL hockey video games now as, as one of the commentators there, um, I've really grown to really like Ray Ferraro a lot more in his retirement and his, his uh, broadcasting career. Uh, more so than when he was a player. So I thought, you know what? I think Ferraro's the perfect fit for my Whalers jersey. So that's who I ended up going with. I also, Mike Liut, the goalie, Sean Burke, the goalie. Uh, there's Kevin Deneen. You know, there's there's a whole bunch of people I could have picked from. But uh, Ferraro ended up winning the sweepstakes, I guess, if you will. So uh, I love this jersey. I love the Whaler franchise. I love the Whaler uh, design of the jersey, the color scheme. The logo's amazing. Um, I was just always a big Whalers guy. Um, outside of the Leafs as a kid growing up. They were one of my favorites. So this was a no-brainer for me. It was just a matter of deciding who I wanted on the jersey. And once that decision was made, all I had to do was wait for it to arrive. And it's one of those things that I don't really want to wear it because I don't want to ruin it. But uh, I leave it hanging down here in the man cave. And uh, 
and uh, just admire it from time to time. So anyways, that's all. Uh, that is everything I have recently gotten on AliExpress. And like I said, I don't plan on shopping there much over the, uh, the, the, the near future because like I said, I mined it for everything that I've really found on there that I've wanted. So you never know what the future will bring. But for now, that's probably... This is about it that you can count on for my AliExpress purchases. So hope you enjoyed. Hope uh, some of this maybe inspired you to go on there and look for something that might be in your wheelhouse. And uh, until my next video, um, stay safe. And, uh, and yeah, we'll see you next time.